Hello, Matu you're watching Hornbill TV Spy Midnight. In a big move, Russian President Vladimir Putin on Friday formally announced an annexation of four regions, Donzek, Luhansk, Kherson and Zaporizhia, and claimed that this is the will of millions of people, media reports said. There are four new regions of Russia, Putin said in a lengthy speech declaring annexation of Ukrainian territories in the St. George's Hall at Kremlin ceremony. The speech was filled with highly critical rhetoric about Ukraine and its Western allies, reported Al Jazeera. Putin said the residents in the four next regions will now be Russia's citizens forever. On the day Sashi Dharu filed his nomination for the Congress presidential poll, his election manifesto seems to have stirred a controversy. The Pradhanada party hit out at Sashi Dharu after his poll manifesto showed a wrong map of India. Congress presidential candidate Sashi Tharoor's manifesto showed a wrong map of India with parts of Jammu and Kashmir and Ladakh committed. Sashi Tharoor's office later made corrections to the manifesto after the wrong map of India caused a stir. PJP leader Amit Malviya said Sashi Tharoor's Congress presidential hopeful puts a mutilated map, mutilated map of India in his manifesto. While Rahul Gandhi is supposedly on a Bharat Joro Yatra, wannabe Congress president is hell-bent on dismembering India. Re reacting to the PJP's accusation, senior Congress leader J. Ram Ramit said the PJP is clearly panicking now that a Bharat Joro Yatra has entered Karnataka. The I-Troll cell, IT cell of the PJP, will look for any flimsy excuse to target and tarnish the Bharat Joru Yatra and Rahul Gandhi. Only Dr. Tharoor and his team can explain this egregious error, he said. In yet another twist in the tale of the Congress president post, Dig Vijaya Singh on Friday said he was dropping out of the race for the top post and announced his support for Malika Arjun Karge, who is likely to be in the fray. Today is the last day to file nominations for the post. Singh had said on Thursday that he would file his nominations today. However, after reports of Karge also mulling contesting the party's internal post, he decided to drop out of the contest. Singh made the announcement after he met Karge this morning at the letters residence. It's खरगे जी मेरे नेता हैं मेरे से सीनियर हैं कल मैं उनके घर गया था उनसे मैंने पूछा था कि आप अगर लड़ फॉर्म भर रहे हो तो मैं नहीं भरूंगा उनका कहना था कि मेरा इरादा अभी नहीं है उसके बाद प्रेस के माध्यम से मुझे मालूम पड़ा कि वो उम्मीदवार हैं तो मैं आज सुबह उनके पास मिलने गया और उनसे मैंने कहा कि आप अगर फॉर्म भर रहे हैं तो मैं पूरे तरीके से आपके साथ हूं आप एक वरिष्ठ नेता हैं और हमारे कांग्रेस पार्टी के सबसे मैं से वरिष्ठतम और सम्मानजनक नेता हैं मैं कभी भी आपके खिलाफ चुनाव लड़ने की बात सोच भी नहीं सकता आपने वो पहले बता दिया होता तो मैं फॉर्म लेने भी नहीं गया होता लेकिन अब उनका इरादा है फॉर्म भरने का तो मैंने कहा कि ठीक है मैं आपका प्रस्तावक बनूंगा Senior Congress leader and MP Sashi Dharur on Friday filed his nomination for the post of party president at the office of the All India Congress Committee in the National Capital. Ahead of filing his nomination, Dharur today visited Rajkar to pay homage to Mahatma Gandhi. Congress veteran Malik Arjun Kargi said he is also throwing his hat into the ring. He is going to file his nomination for the Congress president post, Kargi told media persons as he left for the AICC headquarters today. Meanwhile, Jharkhand Congress leader K. N. Tripathi also so filed his nomination for the party's topmost position and said that the decision of party's leaders is respected.
Yeah. See, I only see your speculation. Yeah. When he comes in, uh, he, he's also a very respected senior colleague. We work together in the Lok Sabha. Yeah. It'll be a good thing to have more people in this. So, and what I, about from the beginning, I've said the more candidates. The better. So, what about Mr. Mukul Vasnik? If he comes into the battle, how does he also? These are, all, these are all very good, experienced, loyal people. Okay. Thank you, Thank sir. You, sir. Thank Several Dimasa organizations under the banner Dimasa Civil Society organized a silent protest rally in Haflong town in Dima Hasau district to protest Ami Barwas starer Shim Kaur, a national award winning movie for an alleged wrong de depiction of the Dimasa tribe's ancient practices. The community members took part in the rally taking to the main street of Haflong. They later submitted a memorandum to the President of India through the Dima Hassau Deputy Commissioner seeking her intervention to stop further screening of the movie for alleged false story depiction of the customs, traditions and livelihood of the Dimasa tribe. We are very sad and angry to say that the Dimasa community, which is one of the most oldest and civilized and cultured groups of Assam, is showcased in the movie Semkor by Aimi Borua. By Aimi Borua in a very bad light. They are saying that the Dimasa people have very bad practices, which is totally false and a lie. Just for the sake of getting awards and prizes to sell her film, she is using and using this kind of lies, and we are condemning this act of Aimi Borua. And कारण डिमांसाइ तो जाती जब पीठी पीठी रोड पास कौन जाती है और इंडिया पीठी रोड दुखन जाती है जहाँ पुरुषों को पदिया से महिलाओं को पदिया से आरु आमी डिमांस जाती होता है महिला उखो दर्जा रखिया उखो हनुमानों रखो आमी को ठीक है इस आमी पुरवा जे मूवी खोना सभी को ना देखा है से जे स्वाली � स्वालितों के स्वाद स्वालितों माटे को छुटी दिए नोको किसे इतु हम पुनो मिठा आरो इतु केतिया होगो नॉरे वो ठीक है ए ही पोर्शन तो जाते आईमी बोलवे सभी कोनो पुनो ठाई लोए आर नहोले सभी कोन तो वैन कोरी दे इतु हम सरकार अम्म अम्म उन रोज जोनाइस हूँ आजी डिमांड कर पाए सुझे अम्म ए ही फिल्म तो ट आरो आमी जस्टिस लगे आमर जितु नेशनल मीडिया गोई किन्हें ऐने हाँ क्या था आमर जातिक आमा आमर आमर निजोर कल्चरों के ऐने के बेया के ताई ता रिप्रेजेंट कोरा पसोत the film has already been screened in many film festivals worldwide and they argue that the world now knows the people and their customs tradition and livelihood through the lens of आमी बारुआस शेमकोर they also sought an apology from the producer of the movie. In the movie, a few months old infant was cast in the movie. After five days of filming, it is alleged that the infant died of sickness. They also demanded justice for the parents of the infant. The movie was filmed in 2020 and 2021 at Shemkor village, which is also the name of the movie. The movie which chronicles the life and times of a woman from the tribe was awarded the Rajat Kamal at the 68th National Films Award besides Barua bagging a special jury mention. The Union Home Ministry of, on Friday extended the Armed Forces Special Powers Act for another six months in nine districts and 16 police stations in, in four other districts of the state of Nagaland as disturbed area. In a notification, the Home Ministry said further review of the law and order situation in the state of Nagaland has been undertaken. It added that therefore, Dimapur, Newland, Chumuketima, Mon, Kifire, Noklak, Peg, Perin and Ziniboto districts and the areas falling within the jurisdiction of Kuzama, Kohima North, Kohima South, Zibza and Kezocha police stations in Kohima district, Mangkulamba, Mukokchung 1, Longto, Tuli, Longchum and Anaki C police stations in Mukokchung district, Yanglok police station in Longleng district and Bandari, Champang, Ralan and Sungro police stations in Woka district are declared as disturbed area under section 3 of the Armed Forces Special Powers Act 1958 for a period of 6 months with effect from 1-10-2022.
With the fear of COVID almost out of the picture and a steep rise of pandal hopers during the festival of Durga Puja beginning on Saptami next Sunday, a trained squad formed to tackle Eve teaser style this time around has become the talk of the town in Silchar of Kachar district in Assam. This squad formed by SP Kachar Numal Mahata comprises of eight female police personnel, including officers and 12 other male police personnel, bringing the squad's strength to 20. Stop to crime. As Speaker Charnu Mal Mahata said, informed that all of personnel have been trained by experts for almost a fortnight and would be seen in commando outfits on the streets of Silchar from Sunday next 24 into 7. हम हम उसको हमारा जो कंट्रोल रूम है हम लोगों ने अभी बोर्ड लगा रहे हैं पूरा यहाँ पे सिटी में जो ट्रैफिक कंजेशन का ऊपर में भी हमने जो किया है हमारे पूरे टाउन में हमारा बोर्ड लग रहे हैं आज से लग रहे हैं बोर्ड तो इसमें हमारा कंट्रोल नंबर रहेगा कंट्रोल रूम में नंबर और हमारा ओसीआईसी का नंबर तो है ही सबको पास हम सर्कुलेट कर रहे हैं और हर जगह पे जो हमारा कंट्रोल रूम रहेगा यहाँ पे चार टावर भी बन रहे हैं हर जगह पे हमारा नंबर डिस्प्ले होगा किसी भी के बाद किसी के आदमी को हमारा फ्रॉम एसपी टू कंस्टेबल जो भी है नंबर मतलब वो फोन कर सकते हैं वो यार डेयर टू हेल्प यू आउट द मिनिस्टर ऑफ स्टेट इन चार्ज ऑफ रूरल डेवलपमेंट एंड स्टील फगान सिंह Kulas Day visited Reboy district in Meghalaya on Friday and presided over a meeting on the aspirational district program in Nongpo. In the meeting, presentations were given about the progress of work done by different key areas such as health and nutrition, education, agriculture, horticulture, veterinary services, rural development and infrastructure under the aspirational district program. <laughs> समाज के मुख्य धारा से जोड़ करके बराबरी में लाने का एक प्रयास प्रधानमंत्री जी ने किया है और इसका जो मूल उद्देश्य यही है कि लोग जो गरीब लोग हैं या कनेक्टिविटी का भी विषय हेल्थ का या बाकी चीज़ों में मुझे प्रेजेंटेशन देखने के बाद काफ़ी संतोष भी हुआ है कि हमने जो कुछ भी थोड़े कुछ चीज़ों में यहाँ पर चूँकि लैंड का प्रॉब्लम है आवास में थोड़े अभी हम पीछे हैं प्रधानमंत्री सड़क योजना भी काफ़ी नीचे तक गया है उसको और थोड़ा एक्सटेंशन करने की ज़रूरत है और इसलिए हमारी ये कोशिश है यहाँ पर और जैसे हॉर्टिकल्चर में एग्रीकल्चर आए उनको बढ़ाने के लिए कम से कम दो गुना करना ये एक प्रयास है इसके कारण हमने एग्रीकल्चर सेक्टर को प्रायरिटी दिया है और उस पर हार्टिकल्चर भी एक पार्ट है और इसको लेकर यहाँ पर जो कुछ वगैरह है एक्सपोर्ट भी किया जाता है और जो यहाँ के लोकल प्रोडक्ट है जैसे प्रधानमंत्री जी की इच्छा है कि आत्मनिर्भर भारत की कल्पना हमने किया है On the same day, the minister proceeded to the circuit house at Nongpo for a short meeting with local representatives and concluded his visit with interaction with members of self-help groups and village leaders. Manipur Chief Minister Anbiran Singh led the state in paying rich tributes to Janata Neta Hijam Irawat during a state-level observance of Jana Neta Hijam Irawat Day 2022 at Irawat Square, Thang Maipan, Lila Singh, Kong Dang Khon today. Speaking at the event, the Chief Minister said the government and the public are working together as a team and moving forward. He assured that the government will never take up any work or policy that might harm or would be against the people of the state.
Biran Singh said Jana Neta Hijam Rawat stood for the downtrodden poor and for the for the upliftment of the poor and believed in a united Manipur of both the hills and the valley. The Chief Minister said Janata Neta Hijam Rawat had served the society in various capacities. He was a poet, a journalist, theatre artist, polo player, a leader and guide during the Nupi Lal of 1939. Power for his environment and climate change, agriculture, science and tech, Minister Tongtam Biswadi Singh also spoke. That's all we have for now. Keep watching Hornbill TV.